Hey there, YTPC. Michelle Baruch coming at you on a really wonderful Friday afternoon. I hope you guys are all well out there wherever you are in the world. And I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do another comparison video today. So a ways back, Andrew Sergliano, Bluefin Piper, sent me some Samuel, Samuel Gowth squadron leader from 2010. As part of a big Yabo. And uh, I did try it pretty much right away, but didn't review it. Because almost immediately after he sent me that, the uh, squadron leader with Perique came out. And so, of course, like I always do, I, um, I had to wait until payday to buy it. And it was such a limited release of the Squadron Leader special with Perique that, um, yeah, if you weren't awake when it started selling and online in the first few hours, it was pretty much gone. So, nice guy that he is, Andrew didn't want me to get left out, he sent me some Squadron Leader Special Edition with Perique. And I have been waiting to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. Um, so, I haven't smoked the Squadron Leader with Perique until today. So, here's what we're going to do. I've got in my... King's Cross, eh, the light's not good enough for you to see any bird's eye, but my King's Cross Algerian Briar Lovat. I have the regular squadron leader. In my Bulldoggy Billiardy Second with no name, <laughs> but it's a great smoker, I have the squadron leader with Perique. Regular Perique. So, Starting with the Squadron Leader Regular, the, the traditional blend. This is a spectacular, mildish, medium English. Um, it has the Latakia, it has some really tasty Oriental in it, and it has some really uh, citrusy Virginia. In some reviews that I read, a lot of people compare it to Early Morning Pipe. I think it's a lot more flavorful than Early Morning Pipe. It's not much more Latakia-y. Well, it's a little bit more. Um, I just find it so much more tangy. has just the slightest hint of black pepper to it. And it's really, really tasty. This is mild enough that if I were someone who smoked, you know, multiple pipes in the day, this is something I could smoke all day. Um, it doesn't uh, doesn't really overpower. My sinuses aren't uh, reeling. has a, a slightly perfumey retrohale just now. Little floral. Uh, only in the retrohale though. Um, now I've only, I've smoked about a third of this uh, to get it going. It's got a, one, both are a perfectly prepared tobacco. It's a wonderful ash. Um, oh. I think um, my plastic bag's about to be blown away here. So let's take a look at them while I'm kind of getting into this bowl.
So the regular squadron leader is up top here. I don't know if we can see this. And, huh. and now it's getting windy. And the squadron leader with Perique is on the bottom. Color-wise, the special edition with Perique is oddly lighter. And Perique being a black tobacco, uh, that's a little surprising. But there's some bright yellows and some gold. The uh, Latakia is very visually present in this bottom bag, which is the standard formula. And overall, just in appearance, it looks very much darker than the Squadron Leader with Perique. So let's give them a smell. If I haven't ruined my sinuses by smoking already. Oh, yeah. The smell of the uh, 2010 Squadron Leader is a little sweet, a little smoky, and a little sour. Um, I find that the my main taste characteristics that I get from the original blend are mostly the Orientals and the Virginias. The Latakia is very restrained. At least compared to the uh, Latakia bombs that I often smoke. In smell, this one is very similar. But there's um, something very sweet in here. That, of course, must be the Perique, but it doesn't smell like figs or plums, which is what I would normally associate with that. It's something a little, a little sweeter than that. Although I don't know if I can put my finger on it. All right. Virginias are still very present in the special edition. The floral note is still very present in the retro hail. The fruitiness of the Perique is actually very, very mild. It's, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not a, a plum plum pudding. Taste that I, I associate with the Perique, but it's very nice. And they, they're not exactly the same, but they're also not that far apart. I do find that the special edition doesn't have as much of a black pepperiness to it, though. I'm hearing some murmuring on my baby monitor here. Let me just give a little peek. All right, my son's napping, as often is the case on these Friday videos, so I may have to run soon. There's a quality there that I'm having a hard time placing. These are both really, really tasty. But you know, given the choice between the two, I kind of think I like the original Squadron Leader better. Now, the original one that Andrew sent me is uh, eight or nearly eight years old, so that could also account for a, a little bit of difference too, but.
Yeah, I'm having a hard time uh, really identifying the flavors too much, but un my undef ah my underdeveloped palate aside, I can at least tell you what I like and what I don't like. This is nice with Perique. This is nicer. Um, yeah, so it's okay. I will not. I will not mourn the fact that it was a limited edition, and I am so thrilled to have had the chance to compare them. But my verdict is that I will be searching for two or three tins of Squadron Leader to put in my cellar and let them age. Now, before I go, um, I did want to mention I, I'm not going to do a review on it quite yet, but I did have a try at the um, Black Double X Twist last night. Also a gift of Andrew. And, uh, oh, wow, that was, <laughs> that was quite something. I will do a review on that very soon. That was a spectacular and very singular tobacco. And I liked it very much. But for another time, you guys have a great Friday afternoon. Have a wonderful weekend. Shabbat Shalom and Zygazund.